This conference will now be recorded. Primary dot. So H, let's say H is H. So intentionally, I'm going to make it infinite. Okay. So 10 divided by zero, it will throw an arithmetic exception. When uh, arithmetic exception is thrown, the process is going to fail and the agent Q item is going to be put into the status of broken process. So after it has been kept into broken process, we can see uh, what is the issue and we have to fix the issue. After fixing the issue, we have to requeue it. So in this case, we are going to intentionally make a mistake and get the error message. But in enterprise application, there might be some issues. You need to find out what is the issue. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at here. Now, whenever I am going to push an item into agent queue, then that item is going to get processed. And once while it is being processed, there will be an exception and it will be put into broken process. Let's go ahead and create a case to push the item into the queue. So at exactly at what step we are doing that? Okay, so I'll open the table also. This is the table, right? Let me requeue it. PRC's queues table. Already there is one record related to some other uh, OOTB agent. I don't want to bother about that OOTB agent queue item. Okay, so submit this. Okay, so let's go to transaction details. What is happening? Did we make any changes? So here, if you're going to select, if the vehicle is brand new, selecting this is going to put the item into broken draw, I mean like agent queue. So in the existing case type, so it is going to go to auto approval in case if the vehicle is brand new, okay? So submit this, the item should be pushed into agent queue. So let's go ahead and see now. Re, uh, requiry this. This is the agent queue item that has been pushed. System queue default entry, and you can see the status broken process. Actually, the moment I push it, it has been processed by agent. The time might have reached. Okay. So if the item is broken process, we need to find out the issue and fix the issue. Thereafter, we have to requeue it. Look at here. I'm going to go to admin studio. Agents, agents. So this is the agent, standard agent. The standard agent related, we have one broken item. See, why I came here is, you see this is still up and running. Here one point I should tell you, if there is any failure in processing of the queue item, queue item status will get updated to broken process and agent will proceed with the next item if available and agent will not go down. But if it is advanced agent, if there is any failure in the processing of the activity, then advanced agent will go down and you see stopped one and running zero. Understand? For failures, advanced agent will get stopped. For any failures, standard agent will be still up and running. There, the item status only will get updated. Understand everyone clear? So you go to agent queues now. So when you go to agent queues, See here in the system queue default entry, you have one task system queue default entry related. Our table system queue default entry is PRC queues table. There is one particular task that has been uh, available with broken process. 
so here you can see broken items on the right side top if you click on the broken items you will see broken items related to few scheduled tasks and default entry go to default entry this is the one click on this and scroll down here you can find out the exception details we intentionally did it right automatic exception divide by zero and all we should be able to easily fix it but in case of enterprise application when you are working issue could be anything you don't know about it so you need to read and understand and then find out the issue and re reproduce the issue then you have to fix the issue then only you should be able to requeue it so the requeue process is very easy you need to select this item and there is a button called requeue so let me requeue it once the moment you requeue it and go back and see the item the status will get updated to scheduled so what does it mean it has been kept again i mean like it's not like a delete and insertion it is like an update in update updating status requeuing is going to change the status of the item with from broken process to scheduled so when agent wakes up only scheduled items will be picked and processed broken process items will not be picked if agent is going to process it so you go to agents and select the respective agent and here trace trace now or trace next turn depends on um, what is this let's see once the item is already been picked and processed start it is at to get it is already done so what i am going to do is i am going to close this okay that's okay because it is already processed you will see session does not exist for that close it now i will hold on i don't know what is it hold on a minute let me close this what are these things okay so now i am not changing the time interval so i am going to trace the next run okay i am going to trace the next run tracer is on and resources agent queues i will put back the queue item once again requeue it let's see if the tracer is going to trace this time or you can increase the time interval to 5 minutes or 3 minutes and then you can wait so here the status should be scheduled okay so definitely it will be picked and it has to be processed tracing must happen it is taking this long duration it is still in scheduled only why it is not traced it should be getting traced so it has already been executed let me do it little quick hold on broken items to 
liquid agents and then this one press now itself let me see once max records what does it mean It is broken process. Hold on. They should have given both at the same place. If I'm not able to do it quickly, so I change it to maybe three minutes like that and then I can try it once. Okay, I'm not able to do it. Because for every 30 seconds when it wake up, I think it is, it should not be processed this quick. It should wait for me to, Okay, no problem. Anyhow, I have given 160 seconds, right? That is for advanced agent. Huh? Maybe advanced agent I may right? need, but not for this one. It is quickly processing. I'll try last time and see once. Agent queues, default entry. So this is a final try. I'm tracing the correct one, right? Standard agent, yes. Okay, that's okay. So it should have to actually wait, but that's okay. Let me change the schedule now. Dev Studio records this admin where should i change the agent schedule but it should not work like this immediately like i am changing the schedule to one minute right three minutes 180 okay let me save this and after you do this let's restart the agent okay i changed the schedule from 60 to 180 means three minutes let us restart the agent for the restarting of agent you can uncheck here and save and check back the other way around is you can go to admin studio and there you can select the agent and then stop it or you directly click on the restart also anything is okay so let me show you first of all devs to admin studio this is the agent which has been stopped i'm going to start again so it has been started again. So now I'm going to go to agent queues and then default entry, requeue it and resources, agents, select this particular agent and then trace now on all records. Okay. And here you go. Let me re requery this. It is scheduled. This time at least it should pick. If not picking, I'll verify what is the problem with the tool because i am not writing anything specifically yeah this time it is okay when i change the time so look at here now so this is how the tracing will happen okay you increase the time while you are practicing for three minutes like that usually we will not find any agents for one minute like that in the enterprise maybe 60 minutes like that now Whenever you want to trace, you can go to admin studio and then select the agent and trace. And for requeuing, it is simple option. Select the particular queue item in the default entry and click on the button requeue. What does the requeue do? A requeue is going to do update the perfect broken process into scheduled status. Requeue is going to update the broken process into scheduled status. When it has been updated from broken process into scheduled status, 
next time when the agent wake up it is going to pick the item so now the tracing is going to be done and you can see what is the issue and fix the issue finally once you fix the issue again you have to requeue it understand everyone clear online uh, Harsha, there is a one doubt that initially there was a broken process right and after yes. requeuing means you are again putting it into the queue then how it is changing into no, no. the we period. are not again putting it into queue we are already it is there in the queue we are just updating the status from broken process into scheduled understand a requeue doesn't mean that it will be queued again requeue means update the queue item status from broken process to scheduled you got it okay some other but session it, broken process it was updated. status means something was wrong that's why it was broken process right yes correct then uh, there is means, uh, in the activity while execution it will go to broken process correct. it means we are forcefully uh, updating the status like means. it will not update the status because it has been failing right it will exit mm -hmm. out of the activity i have made a mistake intentionally making it arithmetically uh, like exception okay so this is a simple process of requeuing it this is what a different session meaning that i logged in as an operator right like dev impl at that something dot com and agent is running so agent is running in a different session and i am my session is different so when i am going to select the agent and choose trace now or trace next one whatever it is the tracer will open not in your session tracer will open for the agent session agent is an internal background requester what does it mean it will have its own session okay okay let me close this let me stop this